Right. You excited? I am. I'm ready. Let's go. I got a good one for you today. Oh, by the way, my name's Lamar Scholl. I'm from Direction to Success. Welcome to this video. Thank you for stopping by. So what am I going to talk about? What am I excited about? Well, I remember when I first got started with my online business, like most of us, right? We didn't have that audience, right? Whether it was, on, it doesn't matter what social media site, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, right? So how do you go about getting yourself out there, right? What's the best way to do it? Well, one of the quickest ways that I found to do it, I started leveraging other people's audiences, right? Leveraging huge, massive audiences. And what do I mean? Well, I went and started looking for other influencers, right? So on a scale... I'm here, you know, and this is pretty much the bottom, and they're way up here, right? So how do you find these people, first of all, right? First, you got to find the people in your right niche, right? You can't just find any influencer, right? You So you got to find the right influencer. So if you're selling weight loss products, you've got to find influencers, you know, around fitness, dieting, or, you know, even promoting or talking about the products themselves right and you got to find like really influence I'm, I'm not talking look I'm not talking 10,000 or 20,000 I'm I'm talking 50,000 to a million imagine that having um you know a million followers this is how you do it so what you want to do right so what do you do? Like if you find somebody, you say, okay, now what? Well, just like I did, you know, it's it's scary. I'll admit I was scared, but I'm like, wait a minute. They don't know me or anything, right? And I'm sure they have it all the time. It's not, it's not like you're asking them to do you a favor and, you know, for somebody that they don't even know. You basically just start out with a, sh I email. I always email just to get, if I can get their email address, right? One, I want to get their attention. And I just gave, you know, sent a very short email. Don't don't give your whole story, right? Because you got to find out first if they're interested. Just say, hey, you know, my name's so and so. I noticed, you know, look, you gotta follow them too, right? You better be following them. Hey, I noticed your post you've been putting up on Facebook. And I love the particular post about such and such, right? Some recent posts they have done. Reference their work, right? To let them know you're interested or serious. Then I, I basically said, you know, I was wondering how or if it is even possible to use advertisement through you. I'm not sure what I'm thinking of yet, but I don't, you know, if you have some ideas, I'd be, you know, glad for you to get back to me. Or if you do, tell them exactly what you want to do, right? Don't just say, well, maybe this or this would be, you know, this other thing would be all right. No, just keep it short, right? Just say, I'm interested in, you know, and then just tell them the type of marketing you want done. That's short. That's literally maybe five sentences, Okay six something like that but it's short nobody's going to read a long email right just keep it short just to the point all right that's that's just to get the conversation start and then they may come back and say yeah we do or no we don't and then okay it's end of you know that's it right if they say no it's the end of the road but if they come back and say yes right then just start there. Now, I don't know what type of advertising. Say if you want to do like a shout out, right? Have them shout out or probably promote your brand, right? On one of, say, a video or a live, right? So you get a like a, a 30 second or 15 second slot, you know, whatever it is. Those are the kind of questions you have to ask. And don't be afraid to ask how much because that's important, you know, don't tell them I can only afford this much, right? If it's too much, you move on, right? Say, yeah, okay, thank you very much. It's just a little bit more than I'm planning to spend right now. But um, I'm, thank you. You know, make sure you thank them for their time because you might be coming back to them. 
Right? You might be coming back, so don't burn bridges. So just keep it casual, right? That's what you want to do. And it's hard. I, you know, like I was pretty nervous at first. I'm like, no, I just made up my mind. No, I'm doing this, right? And this is something that has been paying off for me. Now, look, I'm going to tell you right now, the first one you find may not work out. If you get lucky, it will. But you're going to find some bad apples in there. You will. It just happens, right? Try to start out as small as you can. So, you know, so then if it's good, then start scaling up. If it doesn't work out, don't, don't, you know, just just say fine. You know, I think we're all set for, I'm all set for right now, whatever. But just leave it with kind words, no matter what you do. All right. Now, what I want to do to help you, because one of the things is, well, where, where do you find, right? How do you start finding these influencers? So now you know what to do when you think you found some ones that interest you. Well, I just happen to have this site, this website I found. I love it. I've been using this lately. Here, let me just take you over to my monitor. Let me just blow this page up like this. This website here is called Scrunch. Um, I was trying to think of her name. She's a CEO. She, I just, I was just reading it the other day too, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. What you want to do, look, you want to come in and sign up. I've got an account here. I'm just going to log in, but just sign up for a free account to start. Okay, just to get started. And you can really find out if this is going to really work for you with this free account. Now, I suggest, you know, like look into the paid account. You know, they've got a chat down here. Just get on the chat and start asking questions. But I would get familiar with what they have back here. But let me see. I guess you can see all this, right? It's pretty big. All right, look at this. Check this out. Now, these are all the different types of influencers they have. So it's broken down by space or niche, whatever you want to call it, genre, right? So they got fashion, beauty, travel, right? It's, it's all, you know, there's more than this too, right? But let's just go into travel because this is one of the biggies, right? Now, look at this. So you have the list of um, influencers right here, right? Check this out. Now, with each one, right, you got their, look at this, their email address, right? You can even leave notes in here. These would be like your notes on this particular influencer. So if you talk to them, you can just leave notes in here. Actually, I've got a spreadsheet because I've got more information, right? So I, I couldn't hold it all in there. Plus, I, you know, I can find it way easier on a spreadsheet than I can here. You can also bookmark it. So if you want to come back to this influencer, again, you can put them in your bookmarks over here i can't actually oh this was just opening a new window and stuff like that edit profile all right but look at look at this right here this influence right here dean 1.6 million followers look at that right so engagement high i'm not sure what that me i mean i don't know what that relates to really but let me just keep going over here i've got to move the slider at the bottom so they got a short bio here, topics, all that stuff. So you can kind of see, right, all the topics and everything like that for each one of them. But let me show you that where you really want to spend your time. I just lost my little slider at the bottom here. There we go, my scroll bar. All right, let me go back up to the top. So here's Dean. I'm just taking the first one, right? 1.6 million. Check that out. So you just click on, click on his name. So look at Dean right here. I just like to travel. Traveling's my favorite. Okay, yep. Um, I'm just seeing if he points. That. Okay, he doesn't really point to too much there. But 1.4 million social reach. You know, so look at 1.4 social reach on Instagram. So now you know he's on Instagram, right? So you can, you can really learn a lot about this, right? Um, I'm trying to think of. And here's the topics. Automotive, travel, photography, fashion right so boy if you you know if you like to travel and you know maybe you're in cars you know like i know a lot i've got i watch a lot of youtube channels the guys are in the cars boom right here right this is great or you like to travel you're a car salesman who knows you may have a lot in common but 
here, I would just simply approach Dean, right? You got it. You have his email right here, right? Just send him an email. And like I said, not too much. Just keep it light. So I would go to Dean and, you know, the idea here is to leverage his audience. And there's tons. Let's go back here. Look at this. These numbers are just incredible. Well, this one's 300,000, right? So we can go in here. Mort's. Now look at this. So 300,000 social reach, right? Let's see what I'm just trying to look down here, see what else is here. Estimated cost, topics. So here's topics. I mean, of course, we selected travel, right? But look at this. I like this combination here, right? Travel and health and fitness. Because, like, for me, I would, this would be one of the um, influencers I would write down for me. I'm not in the travel as much, but I'm in the health and wellness, I mean, and fitness and mindset. So I pick up this and do love the travel. So I could, you know, you could easily just email Mortz just like that. So his his price isn't going to be as high because he's got a smaller reach, right? And 300000 isn't that small right? Think about it. Even if you have a thousand now, which you probably thought was big, but you don't have to wait, right? You don't have to wait to build up your audiences. You can get them right now. Just leverage other people's. And it's all right here. It's all right here in Scrunch, right? So now you don't have to go searching all over the internet. Let's go back to the beginning here. Let's see if I can get us back directory. But you can do the same thing for any of these other niches, right? There's lots here. There's tons. And the other nice thing, I didn't show you this. Let's go back into, we'll go back into travel. But you can use this filter up here, okay? Let's click down on that filter. Now, maybe like you want to just do, I don't know, everybody in Europe, just in Europe. Right, so you can select that, and it's going to filter out everybody else out of this list. So everybody that's showing now all the influence, you can see it's only five thousand found. Right? Let's see. Let's uncheck Europe. I'm going to show you the number now. So now it's you can see it's thirty nine thousand. Right. So let's go to select Europe. I can't remember what other. There's a whole bunch of criteria. I think you can do gender in here. Um, you can do. Look at this. Look at this. Blogs. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, right? So I don't know what, let's just do blogs here. See if it, so only, now look at it, it's 244. This, this is the free account. I don't have a paid account, by the way, just to let you know. But look at what you're looking at here. So you can spend some time in here as well. Let's see, I don't even know what's under audience filters. Oh, if you want a male audience or just a female audience, right? Audience age, check this out, right? Post frequency, date date range, gender, male, female. But you can spend some time just right in here. I think, you know, this is an idea. I don't think a lot of marketers consider this. This is something, you know, this could be a game changer, right? I don't think a lot of marketers consider this at all. I know I didn't for the longest time. So I've been slowly using this site to find my influencers right now like you see you know we could we can find blogger influencers podcast influencers facebook influencers youtube influencers right instagram influencers so you can break everything down all right with that i'm done my name's lamar Scholl. oh by the way now this is one way to run traffic to your web pages if you want to know more, just let me know. I'll be glad to help you. I also have a link down below that will help you too. I will be your sponsor. I'm here. Um, I help everybody that comes through. And if I see you working, whether you're just starting or you've been doing this for a while, as long as I see you trying and putting in the effort, uh, you have my undivided attention. Trust me.